Hi everyone, my name is Michael Levan, and today we're going to take a look at creating a durable Azure function. So first let's talk about the difference between a standard Azure function and a durable Azure function. The big difference is a durable Azure function is stateful and a standard Azure function is stateless, which means that an Azure function doesn't hold your data versus a durable Azure function holds the data on a storage account. So you can think of this like RAM and a hard drive. With RAM, when you restart your computer, the memory, everything that's on the memory is deleted. With a hard drive, everything that is on the hard drive when you restart your computer or shut down your computer is still there. So first, let's go ahead and run this and create the storage account. Now the storage account is created, we can go ahead and open up Visual Studio. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new project. So we're going to want to go down to Azure Resource Group and then we're going to search for function apps. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click this Azure function app and we're going to click next. We'll go ahead and give this a name. We'll call it TechSnips Azure function. And then we'll go ahead and we'll click create. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave it empty. We'll click create because at this point we don't need any triggers. Okay so now that this is created we're going to go ahead and we're going to right click on our app, we're going to click on add, then we're going to click new Azure function. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click Azure function. We'll just name the default function 1.cs. Click add. Now we'll go ahead and we'll click durable functions orchestrator. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a default Azure function. And now we're ready to go ahead and publish this. So we're going to create a new. And we're going to go ahead and give this a name, pick our subscription, our resource group, our location, and then we'll also pick a storage account. And then we'll go ahead and click create. Now we can see that our Azure function has been published. So let's go ahead and open up Azure. So first we can go ahead and refresh. We'll see our new storage account here. Let's now go to Azure Functions. So we can see our new Azure function here. We have our URL here. Let's go ahead and open that. Now we see our Azure function is running successfully. Okay, so now that we see our Azure function is running successfully, let's go back to our storage account. We'll click on our new storage account. Go to Containers. And as you can see here, there's a new container here for web job hosts we can see information regarding our Azure function. And that's how you create a durable Azure function. Thanks for watching.